6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got in late last night. I was in Springfield. I made a little stop. In a little bit, I'm going to wake her up and surprise her. First, I'm going to work. Because I also got a dozen donuts for my coworkers. Bethany's donuts. Office donuts. <sighs> See what they think. Hope they like him. Have you guys seen Bethany's beat up car yet? She ran into a deer. Or the deer, the deer ran into her, she'll claim. How is it? It's good. It's like 70 degrees outside and it's really beautiful. And yeah. it's like 10, what time is it? It's 9.45. It's, it's not quite 10 yet. I have to leave at like 10.30. I'm going to walk dogs, four of them. Well, not four dogs, four appointments. But the total is how many dogs? Let's see. I have to find something to do today. Right. I have nothing. Here's what I suggest you do. What? I suggest that you clean the apartment and show them the before and after of each room. Because we're going full disclosure. You already showed me waking up yeah. groggy. So you might as well show them our dirty apartment. Mm. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Bethany is still at work. I promised her that I would clean the apartment. She asked me to clean the apartment and I said yes. And, uh, and then somebody requested that we show them around where we live. Look at this photograph. I'll give you the tour, but it's gonna be like a really quick tour because our apartment is so small, so. Here's our kitchen. You've seen it before. It looks a lot bigger here than it actually is in real life. This is like the tiniest place ever. We have literally like no counter space at all. It's just stove, dishwasher, fridge, and like literally about this much counter space. The nice thing about a small space is that it doesn't take very long to clean, which I'm very okay with. So this is where we usually put the camera when we film our stuff. We just set it right there, which is why we ordered a tripod, because we don't have one. This space is the real dumpster fire disaster area. Look who came home. I'm here because I did three of my four appointments and I was running like over an hour early. So I'm home for an hour. And you're making dinner for us? I'm making food because I'm so hungry. And this only takes like 20 minutes, but I need to like do it. I'll do this like this. I thought we were making nine or eight. Uh. That is so much cheese. I think it's just the right amount of cheese and I don't know why you're being so ridiculous. <laughs> okay. This is what the recipe calls for, okay? So this is what I'm doing. Kind of do it a little bit, you know? So I can see like 
These just came out of the oven. Look at them. They look great. Well done. Good job. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'll be back in like 40 minutes-ish. Okay. I love you. Remember how I showed you the apartment earlier today and how I cleaned it all and how it was nice and, you know, well, all of that has changed and different now because we totally reorganized our living room. We, like, we moved a couple couches. But there's you know so I mean? much more space now. It looks like there's more space. Square footage wise, we did not take out a wall or something. It's the same amount of space. It's like we did. And so there the used line. to be a couch here, going across here. Yep. We moved that to where we're now sitting. To on where it. we are now sitting. In order to do that, we had to take the TV away from the whole room. So this can come off of here now. This doesn't matter anymore. We so we moved the TV. This is now where the TV lives, making this room that much awesomer. Right. To your little guest bedroom space. I still think that we should take Goose's crate and move it into our bedroom. It's not gonna fit. It doesn't fit. It's too wide. Ow. 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 Now you're stuck. I'm stuck. Coming around. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah? Are you happy with that? I don't mind it. Okay. You got a plant and new chairs? We bought a $4 plant. It's a zinnia. I don't even know what a zinnia is. It, well, other than it's an that. annual. It resists deer. Good. Low water. Good. So we don't have to remember it. Medium height. Great. Sounds like a dating profile for a plant. It is very pretty. I liked how it looked with the blue little pot that we bought. Yeah. What I really want is a little table to go right here to set it on. Mm -hmm. But we don't have that. So right now it's just going in this corner. Um, we are trying our best to imitate Sarah across the way. She has like a ton of plants and chairs and a table. She's awesome. Yeah. She has so many cool flowers and they're so pretty. And this is like how her deck is right now is like the least good. It's the least good I've ever seen it. So usually it's like this lush little mini garden area of like wonderfulness. And I'm like, dang, we need chairs. We need a table. We need, well, we have a dog, so that's good. She has a dog. Do you want this? So we're tied. We're tied you want there. It? Go get it. Um, Basically. So yeah, we have one tiny, tiny little flower pot. We're on our way. The sun has officially gone down, so it's like, I don't even know, nine o'clock. We've been out here for like an hour talking about high school and... All of my emotional immaturity. Yeah, all of that stuff, which is a fun thing to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry to everyone that I went to high school with. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. I think I miss like sitting out on a porch, telling stories and like talking about our lives. I feel like anybody watching this would say that when they were in high school, they regret some things. Yeah. No doubt. I definitely feel a greater weight of regret than Derek does. I would say. Like I have Probably specific true. names of people that haunt me where I feel like, man, I made such a terrible impression as a human being on those people. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I feel sorry about it in a lot of ways. But everybody who's gone through high school has made poor decisions, you know. Yeah. Some good decisions, most of them bad decisions. And like, <sighs> that's in the past. And then you move on, you live with it. And that's the only way that you can mature and like become a better person is by making mistakes and then trying not to make them again. You make that sound so easy, but I still, like, I am still haunted by, by people in my past. And not people that treated me wrong, but mm -hmm. people that, I, like, I was really stupid to. Like, feel the regret, like, I can just chew on the anxiety of it, you know? Well, that's another conversation for another time. Yeah, we can list all the ways that Derek <laughs> is better <laughs> at life than I am. I just name all the people that I'm sorry no, to. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's it for today. Uh, if you like the video, I feel weird saying that stuff. Saying like like and subscribe yeah, and I'm all that. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. I do feel weird about that. Okay. If you want to, that's if why I always to. say, if yeah, you yeah. want to like and subscribe because it would be cool if like people 
got notifications about when we posted videos and stuff. Like if people were aware of it and we created a community around it. I don't feel weird about asking for that. I think it's weird when people are like, subscribe to me, smash that like button. Like I hate that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that is weird. And I feel like it's not really what I'm going for here. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. See you next week. Outro. Peace. A maid came in from Olean. She was a little shy, but she couldn't hardly know the state at all. She met a gay young city chap who thought that he was fly, but she couldn't hardly know the state at all. 